peace, peace. Tanchin this one. And um I just wanna to touch on this little topic that I seen about um I guess one of Brother Polite's allegedly ex wives. Um, this chick Ashley Wright. Now, I don't really know too much about this female. You know, I know that Brother Polite did have so called three wives or whatever the situation is with him. Um, but the reason why I'm touching on this topic because like you know, like I I mean I, I get some I get good motivational or like mo, mo motivation from Brother Polite. I'm not gonna lie about that. Like like his motivation is, is definitely one hundred, man. When he's teaching, this shit is more. When he's doing that and being an honest dude, I have no problem with him. Like you know, what I'm saying as far as the teaching and and, and just inspiring people to d indulge in certain um commerce. I mean, I'm not gonna lie about it. It's definitely something that we need. But unfortunately, I don't think Brother Polite is an African American. Now, if I'm wrong, somebody you know, I made a video about it saying i don't think he's african-american if i'm wrong about it like i said correct me i don't have no problem with apologizing to the brother you know what i'm saying but i don't think he's african-american now that raises a brow if he is a nigerian because he got a lot of shady things dealing with him he was a crib and all this other stuff i i, I live around i know i live in an area where there's a lot of um africans the africans don't come over here for that they don't indulge in really too much criminal activity like that. If they do criminal activity is more the shit what they doing now, what he doing as far as what all these allegations of him being a scammer. <clears throat> so I don't know who he scammed. I've heard I've I've heard um a guy on in the black media saying that he got scammed for like seventeen thousand. Like I said, all this stuff is alleged, but however somebody came to the forefront so there was also numerous people young Farrell said he got beat or whatever the only reason he he answered to it because he was on side of the tv and it's another young brother his name is something the third he just made allegations that he got beat but i just so happened to see him on um brother polite um on brother polite youtube channel the other day doing a live screen with inky so i don't know man i just find a lot of things to be weird um as far as dealing with brother polite but um yes this is supposedly one of his wives i don't know if she is one of his wives i don't understand the situation maybe she was a follower of him and she started following him I don't know, you know what I'm saying, I don't, he never confirmed it that he, that she was his wife, and she never confirmed it that she was married to him, or whatever, but however go, they had some type of dealings, or some type of um, relationship, or some type of business dealing, and in this video, I'm not going to play the video, right, because I don't know, like with Brother Polite, it's funny, because he might call her, and track her down, and then make good with her, and then everybody who's making these videos, she might start flagging. So I'm not going to put none of her um con none of her content in my video, but you can check the video out. You see the at the um the the name of the video is Ashley Wright Miss Wright Away says Brother Polite has used her account for real estate fraud. All right, say part one or two or whatever. So you can check it out, or whatever. But um yeah, in the, in the video she says now I'm gonna just put this disclaimer out there. It could be a lot of different factors. It could be the fact that Brother Polite is a fucking scammer. Okay, that could be. Let's put that the main fact that he might be a scammer. And if he's a Nigerian and he doing all this, then um like it's definitely some things that's weird about him. You know what I'm saying? Because my thing is this, and I'm just going. Let me just touch on this again, right? I don't know too many people who go from wearing dashikis to wearing Versace's and then being happy about being at a Laker game. That's that's first level shit. That's low level stuff. Most of us been at the Laker game and had Jordans and all that stuff first, and then when we came to consciousness, we started wearing the so-called dashikis and all that. And his story is reversed. So I'm starting to think that maybe he is not who he say he is because his ways and actions shows. Don't nobody just be that they but that shows you. Remember Aborigines, all these immigrants come over here for money and he got the he got the um how he got the characteristics of one of them immigrants and he say he's evil. 
So he he know he Igbo. So he know he from Nigeria. He's t he's been telling us the whole time he's Nigerian. And plus he has an accent. You can hear it. That's why he can speak all them languages. Because he's not an African American. But like I said, I'm going to play a little bit of the video. Okay? And hopefully I won't get flagged or whatever. You know, you know what? I ain't playing none of the video. Y'all got to check this shit out though. But it, it's a real good um, video. And like I said, she basically says, um, Brother Polite took $1,500 or supposedly took some money out of her account that was supposed to be for somebody else or whatever or it's some strange dealing with another female and the female is basically um, co corresponding to her and she's basically reading what the female was saying and the female don't sound happy said she's supposed to supposedly have four kids and um, the amount that she was um, cheated out of was $1,500 but this young lady saying that she want to reimburse the lady the money but brother polite is not responding to the um like he's not trying to reimburse from the money or he's not he's not he's 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 not um communicating with her in that order to where they can get this situation solved so like i said you know it's a lot of people who came out said brother polite and i'm just putting you aborigines on the watch like you know he brother polite got some good information on some things if it, if you are interested in the, in them topics or whatever though but you don't have to go to him to get it but you know what I'm saying like I said there's a lot of allegations about him being a scammer there's a lot of allegations about him not being African American or Aboriginal like I said if you're not if you're not an Aboriginal what are you doing trying to lead Aboriginals okay you just an intruder into the culture you don't know more about the culture than the people here so that's what a lot of you people don't understand. You you with this all, we all the same thing. He ain't beating Nigeria. Or he probably have beat Nigerians, but he beating majority African Americans. So that's something to look at, though. Well, look, definitely check the video out. Like I said, the, the name of the title is Ashley Wright. Miss Right Away says, Brother Polite used her account for real estate fraud. Check it out. Like I said, I'm saying that this is alleged because I don't know. Maybe she might be lying. Maybe she might be mad at Brother Polite. I'm always going to put the disclaimer in because I'm not, I don't, I don't know everything. And I'm not saying that this could just be one of them things. Maybe she just saying this from what she has, what she know about Brother Polite. Maybe he really is a scammer and she knows that and that's why she's putting it out there. So like I said, check the video out. That being said, I'm going to talk to this one. Peace.